Welcome to Technological Central. Today, we're going to deconstruct a standard desktop computer system to examine the internal core components that enable a desktop computer to work. This video will give you a thorough understanding about basic deconstruction of various systems, maintenance advice, and overall desktop hardware functionality. I understand that this is a long, complex, and difficult review for many, so I will attempt to make it as brief, simple, and sophisticated as possible. We will now begin. Before attempting this process to a system, you must first remove your tower from any power source, usually a wall socket of some kind, and remove any cabling attachments such as USB, VGA, DVI, HDMI, and various other cabling from the system itself. Once removed, place the system upon its side, upon a static-free surface. Failure to do so may result in the damage of the various internal components. Once you have disconnected the excess cabling, we will now remove the back panel and gain access to the internal components. Upon viewing the rear of the system, you will feel various screws used to lock the side panel in position. In my case, two. Both of these screws will need to be removed. In order to do this, you will be required to have a basic Phillips head screwdriver such as this. It is important that the top of the screwdriver, the top of the screwdriver fits the size of each screw so they can be undone. This will enable us to view the internal components. We will now perform this. Once all the screws have been removed, store them in a safe place for later use. Now we have full access to the system. However, we must re first remove the side panel of these components. Place a firm hand and gently push the side panel in the desired direction. Once this is done, we can clearly see the grooves are no, lock no longer locking the panel in place. Simply lift up the panel and place it somewhere safe for later use. I understand that this is daunting for many of our viewers who are of old age, uh, but don't worry, we will gradually work our way through each of the major components, analyzing their role and physical appearance within a system. The layout of this system is common amongst major desktop producers. Although daunting, we now have access to the entirety of all the computer components. We will now examine the basic functionality and role of each individual component demonstrated in the system below. Now, at the top left, we have what is known as a 750 watt power supply, otherwise known as a PSU. This device converts main AC power to low voltage regulated DC power for the use of the internal components of the computer. This functionality is evidently seen through the numerous cabling solutions protruding out of the rear of the device. These cables directly connect to the various devices such as the fan, the CPU, the RAM, the motherboard, graphics cards, hard drives, and all other computer components. Here, we can clearly identify a computer fan, attached for numerous roles. These roles include the active cooling, drawing cooler air into the case from the outside environment, and to ultimately expel warm air from inside the case itself. Below the fan is perhaps the most important internal component of a computer system, the central processing unit. The CPU directs and coordinates the entire computer system by organizing and directing the flow of data. It selects and retrieves instructions from storage in sequence, interprets them, and then commences its operations. To access and upgrade the CPU, which will be in another video, there are various screws seen here that must be undone. Located in the top right-hand corner of the system are the differing drive bays, areas of reserve space where additional hard drives, disk drives, DVD drives, floppy disk drives, and other assorted drives can be installed. A hard disk drive is a storage device used for storing and retrieving digital information, using rapidly rotating disks coated with magnetic material. Here, we can clearly see two standard 1TB hard disk drives being connected to the power supply through the various cabling. One of these disk drives is fully dedicated to personal storage and use, while the other holds, in this case, 
Windows 7 system files and system software, which is the operating system used with this PC. In another video, we will uh, be upgrading this 1TB hard drive to a 500MB solid state drive, which dramatically improves performance. If we look closely, we can see this green board located on the alternate side panel of the system. This component is known as a motherboard. A motherboard is the main printed circuit board PCB found in computer systems, holding many of the crucial electronic components, such as the CPU mentioned previously, um, the memory, the GPU, and it also provides connectors to other peripheral devices. There are countless motherboards from differing manufacturers in the marketplace today, all consisting of numerous benefits and additional features, acting as the backbone for desktop, laptop and various other computer systems. We want to avoid any unnecessary contact to the motherboard at all times. Below the numerous wires to the right, we can see numerous slots connecting directly to the motherboard. Unlike the MacBook video, which featured DDR2 RAM, this desktop system requires DDR3 RAM. RAM, otherwise known as random access memory, is a form of computer data storage and memory that can be accessed randomly. That is, any byte of memory can be accessed without touching the preceding bytes. In this desktop system, there are a total of four slots, two of which could be upgraded to enhance the system. In addition, there are currently two types of RAM on the market, though including dynamic RAM and static RAM. RAM as a whole determines the overall speed of the computer system. Located in an expansion card port in the bottom left hand corner, the graphical processing unit, GPU, provides output of the system to various monitors, including CRT, LCD, LED, and plasma screens, primarily through VGA, DVI, and HDMI output. The GPU is essential for gaming purposes. Here at Technological Central, we will add various tutorials for upgrades to the numerous components of this system at a later date. Now, however, we will reattach the side panel of the system and tighten the screws for the completion of this video. For additional information, tutorials, and advice, visit our Technological Central Facebook page or email us through our website.